Five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. National Rescue. If only I knew the secrets, I would be the wealthiest man in the world. And you, Kerano, my own brother, are in their midst. But because of your misguided loyalties, you refuse to help me. But I have a power over you that will make you speak. Soon you will be under my influence. Even though you are far away, you cannot escape me. Kirano! Kirano! Kirano, I've just had news that Tintin will be leaving London on Wednesday. That means she'll be home on Friday. That is good news indeed, Mr. Tracy. How can I ever repay you for your kindness to my daughter? Well, she's got a good start, Kirano. An education in the finest American university and a European tour to her credit. Mr. Tracy, you are the finest man I have ever had the privilege to work for. And you, Kirano, are the loyalist. Oh. Kirano, what's wrong? Oh. Kirano! Kirano! As from this moment you are in my power. Now! When does international rescue start operating? Speak, Kirano! Oh. What's wrong, Kirano? What is wrong? Why don't you speak? No! No! When will international rescue start operating? International Rescue is ready to start operating! <laughs> Ten.
Agent Encarano? Yes. This is your flight. You're lucky it's the maiden flight of the new atomic-powered Fireflash. Isn't that the new aircraft that flies six times the speed of sound? That's right. But don't worry. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Perfect. Enough explosives to smash the atomic reactor. If this doesn't bring international rescue on the scene, nothing will. Point two, forty thousand feet. Mac two point eight, two point nine. Mac three, three heat, three heat. Mac five point three. Height two hundred thousand feet. Level off. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now completed our takeoff procedure and are flying at a height of 250,000 feet. You may now unfasten your safety belt and smoke if you wish. Is that the control tower? Yes. I just thought you would like to know that a bomb has been placed in the landing gear of the Fire Flash that has just taken off for Tokyo. When it touches down, it will explode and blow the aircraft into a million pieces and release radioactive material over a large area. <laughs> Okay, on course. Right. Switch to automatic flight plan. Well, I, uh, I'm going up front to have a word with the passengers. Passengers or passenger? I saw her too. She's kind of cute. London Tower to Fire Flash. Reduce speed to low safe cruising. Return to London and reduce to 30,000 feet. It is reported that you have a bomb in your landing gear. It may be a hoax, but we can't take any chances. Right here, London Tower. What's the action? Stand by on this frequency. A fire flash standing by. Alert all emergency services. I don't understand it. Something must be wrong, we're losing height. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We have developed a minor technical fault and are returning to London. Please fasten your safety belts. Say, you're right. Oh, but I guess it's nothing to worry about. 
Well, I hope not. It's a very long way down from here. landing gear and overfly airfield at zero feet. Roger, London Tower. This sure is some maiden flight. those days, eh, Mr. Tracy? <laughs> you must be proud to have been one of the world's first men to land on the moon. Well, it's all a long time ago, Kirano. A long time ago. Cable for me? Uh, yes, sir. From London. Now, listen, Kirano. I've arranged for a specialist to be flown out here and give you a checkup. Oh, I'm fine, Mr. Tracy. Uh, just a dizzy spell. Well, you watch it. Gotta keep well for your daughter's homecoming. Oh, this is from Tintin. She's on her way from London. Say, she's flying in the new Fire Flash. Gee, that's a great aircraft. London Tower from Fire Flash. Coming in now. Landing gear down and locked. Stand by. Roger. Lift your starboard wing so we can get a good shot. Ready with automatic X-ray? Yes, sir. Here she comes. Looks helpful. Put it on the screen. Yes, sir. What's keeping them? They'll call as soon as they know. Let's not get jumpy. There it is. This is no hoax. <laughs> Divert all aircraft from London. Contact Central Control. I want everyone, excluding essential personnel and all civilians in a five-mile radius of the airport, evacuated immediately. Use code RH. Radiation hazard. Yes, sir. Fire flash, this is London Tower. Confirming there is a bomb. It's placed in the hydraulic system of your landing gear. Roger, London Tower. Permission for an emergency landing. That's impossible, Fire Flash. The bomb is so placed that the impact of landing would cause it to detonate. Remain in vicinity of London Airport at 30,000 feet. Well, what's gonna happen? We can't just stay up here forever. What is your endurance? Well, with our atomic motors, we can stay up here for six months. But the anti-radiation shield on the reactor will need servicing in two hours, ten minutes, or our passengers will be subjected to radiation exposure. <laughs> What are we gonna do? I don't know. We can't reach the bomb, we can't land, and if we stay up here, we get radiation exposure. Whichever way you look at it, we don't stand a chance. They haven't got a chance. 
We've just got to sit here and wait for them to die. London Tower from Fireflash. Now circling at 30,000 feet. Radiation safety factor now, two hours. As far as I can see, London, nothing can save us short of a miracle. That's just what you might get. Top secret. Subject, international rescue. Our equipment is way ahead of its time. In the wrong hands, it could be utilized to destroy life. Go ahead, John. We have our first emergency call, Father. The new Fireflash Max 6 atomic airliner is in distress at London Airport. The Fireflash? Why, that's Tintin's aircraft. Yeah, that's right, London. I reckon that's our only chance. We're gonna try some violent maneuvers to try and shake the bomb loose. Roger, Fireflash. Good luck. Okay, boys, that's the brief. It's our first assignment, so make it good. As you know, your uniforms are in your craft and must only be worn on call. Right, Father. Okay, Father. Sure thing, Dad. Yeah, Father. Okay, Scott. Away you go. And keep in touch. Yes, sir. Well, Brains, your phenomenal mind made all this possible. Now you're going to see it in operation. Well, good luck, Scott. Take it easy, Scott. National Rescue from Thunderbird 1. Changing to horizontal flight. International Rescue Space Station. This is Thunderbird 1. Give me the lowdown, John. Thunderbird 1 from Space Station. They're trying to dislodge the bomb by aerobatics, but they're not having much success. Go ahead, Scott. I'll be arriving at London Airport in 52 minutes, but it looks like I'll need heavy rescue. Okay, Scott. I'll organize that right away. Virgil, away you go. Right, Father. <laughs>
That's just about the most fantastic scheme I've heard to date. Well, sir, can you think of anything better? May I remind you how to speak to your superiors? You come up here and put a harebrained scheme that stands a million to one chance of success and expect me to jump for joy. Well, with due respect, sir, a million to one chance is better than no chance at all. London Tower from Fireflash. What now? Fireflash from London Tower. Maintain present height and position. I may have some news for you in a moment. Continue standing by. Standing by? All right, Meddings. Let's have it again, but slowly. This is the idea. We get a TX-204 target-carrying aircraft and divert it to London. Then we... Harris, are there any TX-204s in the area? Yes, sir. There's target practice going on at this moment, and just off the coast, 100 miles south of us. Approach and intercept position. Okay, release target. You know, I think this uh, excitement is gonna kill me. I joined the Air Force for adventure and all I do is tow targets around all day long. Interceptor 1 from Target 1. Target aircraft released. Roger, Target 1. Coming in for attack, Target 1. Permission to open fire. Okay, go ahead and good shooting. understand the risks involved? Perfectly, sir. All right. Get into your flying gear. The harness should have been adapted by now. Then get a truck to run you out to the end of 2-9. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Meddings. Yes, sir. Thank you. Fireflash, this is London Tower. We are going to attempt to put a man into the wing of your aircraft in order to remove the bomb. But that's suicide. He wouldn't stand a chance. There is a chance, Fireflash. A very slender one, but one we must take. International rescue from Thunderbird 1. ETA, London Airport, now 41 minutes. Any more news? Yes, Scott. John's reported in from the space station that a rescue attempt is going to be made. It seems from transmissions intercepted that they are going to try and put a man aboard Fireflash. How, we don't yet know. But continue on your present course. It doesn't look too hopeful. Well, let's hope they succeed. I'll keep in touch. Target one from London Tower. Roger. Meddings is aboard, sir. Huh? Right. Target one from London Tower. You're clear to go. Wait for a green light and good luck. I will make no further transmissions so as to leave the frequency clear for you and Fireflash. This is London Tower, listening out. Look, uh, there's no time for introductions, but I'd like you to know that we're right with you. Thanks. Green light, full power. Passengers are going to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been dreading this moment. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. I have a very important announcement to make. We're still unable to land, but every effort is being made to ensure your safety. In the meantime, please, remain calm. See, look, there's another aircraft dead ahead of us. Okay, Fire Flash, hold it dead steady. Maintain low safe cruising. Any adjustments to be made will be done from our end. Lieutenant Mettings, who is making this attempt, will be in contact with us both on this frequency. Roger. Now at low safe cruising and steady. Here we go. Okay, Bob. Stand by. Okay. Ready. Away you go. Winches. Right. into turbulence. Left back one degree. Right, right, two degrees. Right, hold present course. Stand by to stop winches. Hold her steady. Here he comes. Okay, Fire Flash. Open number four inspection hatch. Keep her steady. One false move now and I've had it. Open number four hatch. Check trim. I'm going to try and board now. Target one. Give me more cable a foot at a time. Coming up now. Again. Again. One more time. Hold it. Okay. Count to five and then up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now. Cut cable. Are you okay? Okay. I I'm aboard. I can't see the bomb. Keep her steady. I'm trying to get a little higher. Still can't see it. It's probably located near the master cylinders on the yellow hydraulic system. I can see it. I'm, I'm going to try and get nearer. Oh, it's no good. It's no good. I, I can't reach it. I, I have to dismantle the pumps to get anywhere near it. Hold on. I'm going to try around the other side. He's fallen. Shoot us, fail! At least he made it. He sure was a good try. London Tower. This is Fireflash.
The rescue attempt has failed. Bob Meddings appears to be safe. Our radiation safety factor is now down to 30 minutes. Over. Roger, Fire Flash. There's now only one alternative left to us. This area has now been evacuated. Return to London Airport and land. The only chance that now exists is that the bomb may fail to explode. Aircraft approaching from the east, high 2,500 feet. Speed 7.5 thousand miles per hour. 7.5 thousand miles an hour? Have you gone crazy? London Tower from Thunderbird 1, approaching London Airport, height 2,500 feet, airspeed 7.5 thousand miles per hour. We'll be touching down in two minutes. London Tower, this is International Rescue. Fireflash is in trouble and we are equipped to help you. Request permission to land. International Rescue? What is this? That must be the aircraft I just picked up. This I must see. International Rescue, you are clear to land. Use runway 29. Will not require runway, coming in vertically. As I thought. International Rescue are arriving on the scene. Part two of my plan about to commence. <laughs> Tower from International Rescue. Now listen carefully. I want men and transport to take my portable equipment to your control tower, and I want an assurance from you that you will place guards on my aircraft to ensure that no photographs are taken. International Rescue, please give me information about your organization. We cannot grant facilities without knowing more details. Look, there are 600 people up there with about 40 minutes to live. Now you can't help them, but I believe we can. Now what's it gonna be? All right, International Rescue. But I just hope you know what you're doing. Now, to make sure that no one takes photographs of Thunderbird 1. Except me, of course. <laughs> Now, let's recap. Fireflash has another 30 minutes before its radiation safety factor expires. Right. Now, the specialized gear that I require for the rescue will be here in 20 minutes leaving us just 10 minutes to put our rescue into operation. Thunderbird 2, this is mobile control. Confirm estimated time of arrival, London Airport. Okay, Scott. Arriving in 19 and one half minutes from now. Now, as soon as you arrive, unload high-speed elevator car with two radio control subsidiaries. Then proceed to end of runway 29 and report. Thunderbird 1, FAB. Fireflash, this is International Rescue Mobile Control. In approximately 18 minutes from now, I will request you to land using runway 29. You are to come in with landing gear up. Repeat, landing gear up. Make a completely normal approach and keep your head. Message understood. What's the action? Well, listen carefully. We can't afford any mistakes. <laughs> The automatic camera detector, quick. Someone's photographing the instrument panel of Thunderbird 1. It's imperative that you get this man and stop him. Airport police, this is the control tower. Someone is taking photographs inside the International Rescue aircraft. Grab him and bring him in for questioning.
car from Airport Mobile Police. We have lost contact with pursued car. Vehicle was last seen turning on to M1, heading towards Birmingham. Message received and understood. I'm sorry. We did our best. Okay. Leave this to me. International Rescue. Lady Penelope speaking. Require your assistance. Man with photographic records of Thunderbird 1 proceeding along M1 motorway in your direction. Car registration 695 CMO. Over. Mobile control FAB. Oh dear, how inconvenient. Just as I'm expecting visitors. Three coach loads, too. How oh, well. You called, milady? Yes, Parker. Get the Rolls Royce. We are going for a little drive. Mobile control from Fireflash. We have only five minutes left. Unless you can start rescue operation immediately. We've had it. Stand by, Fireflash. Thunderbird 2 from Mobile Control. Are you ready, Virgil? Mobile Control and Fireflash. This is Thunderbird 2. I'm ready. Thunderbird 2 from Control, FAB. Control to Fireflash. Commence your approach and good luck. After acknowledgement of this transmission, do not make any further calls. Whatever happens, keep this frequency clear. Roger, Control. Starting approach now. And however it turns out, thanks. Aircraft approaching glide path five miles to threshold. Stand by, Virgil. Fire flash on final approach. Scott, I've got a fault on number three. Okay, checking out. Fireflash, continue your approach. On glide path, rate of descent, 500 feet a minute. Check. What did he mean when he said they had a fault? Left, left, two degrees. Aircraft on glide path, three and one half miles to threshold. Stand by, crash tenders. Crash tenders to center of runway 29. Roger. Situation, Virgil. Fault cleared. What was it? Don't know. It's just cleared. Well, let's hope it holds up. Stand by, Virgil. Fire flash one and one half miles from threshold. One and one quarter miles from threshold. One mile from threshold. Start tracking. Mobile control, FAB. Flash 700 yards from threshold. Airspeed 130 knots. Increase to 108. FAB. Overshoot! Sorry, Scott. 
Scott. Radio fault again in number three control system. Okay, Virgil. Backtrack to starting point and bring standby elevator car into use. Fire flash. This is mobile control. What is your radiation safety factor now? Mobile control. Radiation safety factor is expired. If we're not down in a couple of minutes, passengers and crew will have received fatal exposure. Okay, fire flash, commence second approach. Roger. Crash crews return to standby positions. Let those aircraft burn. Fire flash is carrying passengers. They're not. Mobile control. Turning for second approach. Clear for second approach. No further transmissions, please. This time, it's the last time. Aircraft approaching glide path. Four miles to threshold. Stand by, Virgil. Fire flash on final approach. Okay, Scott. Standing by. On glide path, rate of descent 500 feet a minute. Aircraft on glide path. Three miles to threshold. Stand by, crash tenders. Crash cruise to center of 2 9. Roger. Runway ahead, 2 miles. Fire flash now 1 mile from threshold. Start tracking. Mobile control. FAB. Fire flash 500 yards from threshold, airspeed 120 knots. Increase to 105. 105. FAB. Okay, Virgil. 
Okay, Scott. Good timing. Great for you. Just great. Well, how can we ever thank you? Well, I tell you, it's essential for the reason I explained to you that our organization remains top secret. Now, I want you to contact your authorities and make sure that there are no aircraft within a hundred mile radius when we leave and their assurance that we will not be tracked. Whatever happens, secrecy must be maintained at all costs. Well, I do my best. But talking of secrecy, how about that character who photographed your aircraft? Don't worry. You'll be taken care of. We're closing in on him, lady. Good, Parker. Wait till we get to a clear stretch of road. We don't want to create a scene. Very good, lady. Go ahead, Parker. Yes, my lady. Thank you, madam. Home, my lady. Home, Parker. My pictures, they are ruined. Someone will pay for this. International Rescue haven't heard the last of me. Mr. Tracy, uh, the, the doctor would like to see you. Just one moment, Reigns. Operation cover-up. Okay, Brain, show him in. Uh, sure thing, Mr. Tracy. Well, Doc, what's the verdict? Oh, he's a okay, Jeff. Well, I can't account for that dizzy spell, but I can assure you there's nothing wrong. Well, that's great news. Thanks for flying out here the way you did. Oh, any time. Well, how about that, Jeff? Some story, huh? It sure is. Oh, fantastic, the way the whole thing's cloaked in mystery. Oh, I sure would like to know who these people are. Because the one thing I'd like to do is shake them by the hand. Well, thanks again, Doc. So long, Jeff. So long. Well, fellas, I guess that handshake was for all of us. Boys, I think we're in business.